All right, just hold it steady. I can edit a lot of this stuff out, so it's not a problem. Okay, today we're talking about the order of operations. And order of operations is usually abbreviated like this, the PEMDAS. Now that means a specific order that you have to work out mathematical operations. First is going to be parentheses, which are any kind of grouping symbol. It's really parentheses and brackets and braces and all these little things that you have to do whatever's in those very first. Second is going to be exponents, the little raised numbers. So we have to take care of that next. The third step is two letters at once. It's going to be M and D. We're going to multiply and divide. Since we do those at the same time, we have to go from left to right. And then the last two, the last step, we're going to put those together as well. That's A and S, add and subtract, add and subtract. And again, because we're doing them at the same time, we go from left to write. It's easy to remember because that's how you read. So let's take a look at a couple sample problems. This one, we go to our first step, our grouping symbols. And we have grouping symbols here. This is 54 divided by 3 and then a 3 in parentheses. This is the inside one. We have to go from the inside to the outside on our grouping symbols. And it doesn't have anything next to it, so we can't do anything with that. Then we start working from there. In our grouping symbol, are there exponents? No. Is there multiplication and division? Yes, there's both. When a number is next to a number in parentheses, that's multiplying. When we have this sign, we're dividing. So we're going to go from left to right. 54 divided by 3. When we divide 54 by 3, the 3 goes into 5 one time. We have 2 left. 24 divided by 3 is 18. So now we have 18. We have a parentheses and our 3. We still have the brackets around that. And we have 16 minus whatever we get from there. 18 times 3. 8 times 3 is 24. So we go 4. We carry that 20. 3 times 1 is 3. Plus 2 will give us a 54. So that's 16 minus a 54. 16 minus 54 is going to give us a negative number on this one. Okay? So we take... Minus 16 yeah, is okay. the, is, yeah. Our answer that we get on this one when we finish subtracting is going to be a negative because the number we're subtracting is bigger and we get a negative 38. If you want to check it, 8 plus 6 is 14, 3 plus 1 plus 1, that'd be 5. Those will add back up to give us that 54. Okay? That one's kind of a tough one. On this next one, we're going to go through the same thing. It says parentheses. Remember, that's grouping symbols. When we have this long division sign with operations above it, we have to pretend that there are parentheses on the top and the bottom of that. So we're going to reset this up. In these parentheses, it's just subtraction. It's one operation, so we can do that. 3 squared plus 14 minus 5 is going to give us 9 on the top. 5 minus 2 gives us 3. So in this case, we've done our parentheses, our grouping symbols. We need to move to the next step, which is exponents. 3 squared. 3 times 3 is 9. So we have 9 plus 9 over 3. Now we do our multiplying and dividing. This is adding. This is dividing. 9 divided by 3 is 3. So we have 9 plus 3. And when we finally get to our fourth step, our adding and subtracting, 9 plus 3 is 12. All right.